Hello everybody, Fiasco here today at Disney Springs to check out all the new things because there are quite a few new things to check out. But before we do, let me let you know this video is brought to you by DreamsUnlimitedTravel.com. Let our travel experts plan that next vacation with you. All that information and more down in the description below. But it is a Wednesday. It is a chilly 52 degrees here which again is uh, is definitely beating all the snow people are getting up north, but she'll be here for Florida. And uh, there's a lot of sweets related new things. So we're gonna check out all the sweets related new things. I'm obviously not gonna eat all the new sweets that came out here uh, this, this previous week, but um, we're at least gonna go take a gander and then I'll, uh, I'll let you know which things I'm gonna come back for. So starting off here actually uh, at City Works, um, in front of me now is the outdoor dining section. Uh, just a few months ago, this was just completely open, you know, open air. I mean, it still is open air, but they did put up this screen, this aluminum screen here uh, to give outdoor diners some privacy in between the, the outdoor dining section and the foot traffic walking by take a peek inside this is not new this week this has been like this for a little bit not that long though i believe this is the first time we took a gander at that in a video but uh the biggest bit of new stuff here at disney springs is directly ahead as you can see so this is the biggest new thing this week at Disney Springs. We got a whole new store. This is the M&M store. It is open as of this previous Monday. Uh, starting off here at the front, you can see there over on the left is a selfie spot um, with a digital screen behind it that they can change based on the season. So right now you can tell it's Valentine's Day. You can take uh, your selfie there with the red and yellow M&Ms. Well, let's go inside. I've actually never been in the store before. This is gonna be my first time in here as well. So let's check it out. And here we go. Hello, how's it going? Oh my goodness, as soon as I walk in it, you can just smell all the chocolate. It smells so much like chocolate. I am digging it already. It's perfuming right through my mask and I'm all about it. So tons, tons of M&M merch here, obviously. Now, okay, what I want to go to first is what, uh, what uh, was the most interesting thing to me this wall back here you can get all these different flavors and it is self-serve uh, I was reading Denny's article which I'll link down in the description below but in there she says it is self-serve it's 15.89 per pound uh, and they go by and sanitize all of it hourly. Color Blast. That looks like the traditional, traditional flavors. Rainbow Mix, so you get some uh, different colors in there like purple. Mickey Mix. Mini. Got that Easter Colors. Mermaid, Valentine's Day, Unicorn. They got so many different cool ones. Oh, they even got Skittles. Caramel. Crispy. Dark Chocolate. Mint. Minis. Oh, I remember the minis. I haven't had those since I was a kid. Pretzel. Ooh, pretzel sounds good. Coffee, ooh. Fudge brownie, that's the one Haley was mentioning. Cheesecake and 
sugar cookie. Peanut ones, honey? Do you want to and then they have that? all these individual colored peanut M&Ms, all different colors. And then all the different assorted regular colors as well. You can see this store aside from that wall is actually pretty massive. So lots and lots of M&M merch to explore. Right now I'm just outside the wall of M&M's and I'm looking at the uh, kitchen things. Got the prices displayed there nice and easy so you don't have to pick things up and look at the look behind. So these are two for 10. Pretty much this whole wall looks like it's two for 10. In the middle, very middle of the store, they have this uh, this station that uh, it's it's looks like gonna be it's gonna be their seasonal section or their little seasonal station. Obviously, right now we have lots of love going on for February and all those Valentine's Day colors, even some little pin sets. Uh, these don't appear to be official Disney trading pins, though. They're uh, they're Mars for you know M and M's, the company that makes M and M's. Uh, but still, still pretty cute. And yeah, there's another little uh, photo up here if you so choose to take it with the red guy, the red M&M. &M. He's much bigger than the one outside. And it says some details here. First candy in space. So is that the case? Is this was M&M's the first candy in space? Huh. They have some uh, things up here that says stuff about the characters, like Chocolate Major finds the celestial life to be just heavenly. But like, I thought it would be cool if maybe they had like a little posting of like the date that that happened. But comment down below if you know anything. Oh, it says right there, 1981. First candy in space, but still comment down below if you know anything about M&Ms being the first candy in space. They also got all these really cool souvenirs here. Chocolate filled giftables are two for 20. So I'm assuming those are those. But they also have these dispensers here, which were always a lot of fun to do when I was a kid. Uh, these are $25 though, these dispensers. So like you'd have the M&Ms in here and I guess you'd, yeah, you'd pull his arm and they'd pop out this section. They also have this like traditional, traditional candy dispenser. And then they got this one. They also got this one here where the candy goes on top and it will, like swirl around. These ones are also, uh, these ones are actually 20. So the other ones were 25, these ones are 20. This one where you can color code them. That's pretty cool. And, oh, they got a little like a uh, slot machine one. So that was our little peek at the M&M store. It started to get a little bit crowded in there, but I showed you mostly everything I found interesting. Uh, there was a few more little shopping sections with like some baby clothes and stuff in it, but um, started to get a little bit busy. So now we're going to move on and Disney Springs itself is not busy. The store just started to get a little bit busy because you know, it is still a brand new location. Everybody wants to check it out. But there are some other new things too that I wanted to share with you. So we are gonna go on and move on to the next thing. So if you guys remember a uh, Rustic Cuff here, they set up a pop-up shop over by where Gideon's ended up being. Uh, but now they have set up shop over here in this section of Disney Springs, right across from Sephora, next to Ever After Jewelry, and this fountain here. And we're gonna make a pop inside. This was about um, a year, a year and some change ago that their pop-up shop was, was over by Gideon's. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Got 
lots of pretty, pretty jewelry. Good place to stop by for a Valentine's Day gift. And last time I was here, I noticed that they still have it now too from their old uh, pop-up shop location are these giant, giant gumball machines. And they got cute little bracelets inside. So I was just about to pass this store. I figured they probably had some new stuff for Valentine's Day, but I, th then it hit me that I don't think I ever actually shown this store in a video. Maybe I have, but this uh, Love Pop store here has been open since around, I wanna say September, October timeframe. Uh, the first time I actually went shopping here was for Christmas cards. But yeah, as soon as we pop in, you can see this really cute bear who is obviously here for Valentine's Day. And yeah, they have a whole bunch of new, new Valentine's Day stuff here. Really cute stuff too. How much is this giant bear? 24, 24 for that guy. I, I, that's not bad actually. That's a really cute gift. Imagine opening up a card and it being that. I mean, the wow factor there. Whole bunch more. They got these pop-up card flower bouquets, which are just awesome. That's so cool. And then uh, for the for the diehard Star Wars fan, they even got that going on. Ooh, I like the the Han and Leia one. That's awesome. Fifteen bucks there which is uh, what, I, what I found to be the pretty standard price for their, their cards like this one. So I'll, I'll even check Vader, I'm assuming $15 on that one too. Yep, right there. Yeah, I got a few of these as Christmas cards this year and they all went over really, really well. Some more traditional Disney stuff here for the Mickey Minnie classic Disney lover. So we're going to pop into Amaretz real quick because they got some limited time, limited edition cakes. No, limited time is the correct way to say it. It's limited time cakes. I'm sure they'll make as many as they're going to sell. Uh, but we're going to pop in and check those out. Uh, like I mentioned before, I am not going to just buy every sweet new sweet that I mentioned today because uh, I don't think that would end well for me. But I am going to show as many as I know about. So they have this WandaVision cake here, which is gonna uh, change depending on what, what episode is airing on Friday. So that's pretty cool. The image on it's gonna change depending on what episode they go. So it looks like there they got the 80s haircuts and do going on. So that's this Friday's episode, that's awesome. They also got some Soulfully cakes here. And we're gonna have some music playing here in Disney Springs on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays too, some jazz and, and blues and stuff like that should be really cool throughout the month of February. Along with the music that we're gonna have playing this month in celebration of Black History Month this February, we're in February now, we also have this wall art right outside of World of Disney by B. Harris. Kind of going in that same theme of jazz and blues music. Really, really beautiful stuff. Here, I'll get it in frame so we can get a closer, better look at it. And I'm not sure if there's more pieces like this scattered around Disney Springs, but if I find them, I will show them. All right, so last week on the Disney Dining Channel, I got the uh, secret menu watermelon Dole Whip, and I mentioned that it probably isn't long for this earth. It's it's gonna go soon and it has. Uh, and I'll show you what it's been replaced with. And I also mentioned the suite, I'd let you know when we encountered a suite that I would be coming back for. Uh, and, and you know, here it is. This is, this is, I'm coming back for this. Um, expect a video on the Disney Dining Channel of me reviewing another Dole Whip here. 
because I am really excited for this. $5.49 and we have strawberry and chocolate swirl Dole Whip with a chocolate covered strawberry on top. That is just, oh my goodness. I want that. Not gonna get it right now. Not gonna get it right now. I don't need tons of sugar, but that is in my near future. For those of you who haven't been to Disney Springs in a long while, uh, this is kind of what it's looked like all year over in this section here. Uh, obviously the void all shut down, bibbity boppity boop temporarily closed. Uh, and this is the entrance that you can come to and from Saratoga Springs from. Now, I just want to give you some information on that, uh, just to save you some trouble because I found out the hard way. Um, because I am somebody who does like to take a stroll over to Saratoga Springs, get my walk in and walk back. It's a really nice walk. Uh, and I also didn't mind the artist palette. I thought it was actually a pretty decent quick service. Um, but last week I was heading over to Saratoga Springs to do a dining review at the artist palette just to find out that they completely changed their menu. All those unique items that they had on there, like their calzone, their hamburger cal calzone uh, and stuff like that, that was really good, um, is gone in place of just basic things like burgers and turkey sandwiches. And, you know, getting there and being like, that's what, I can't do another turkey sandwich for a dining review. You know, I've, I've kind of wring that towel dry. So just so you know, if uh, you were a fan of those unique offerings at Artist Palette, it is... It's kind of a bare bones, basic menu right now. So save yourself the trip, unless you want the nice walk, because the walk is still nice. Are you guys hungry? You want to go take a seat at my favorite restaurant, huh? Want to go? Well, that's a shame because it's uh, still closed. Still closed. I feel like rumors circulate every few weeks about it potential, potentially opening back up, but it, they are just that, just rumors. And so far I've spoke to management and there is no plans yet as of right now that they're at least telling us to reopen Wolfgang Puck Express, sad face. And I know pro someone's probably gonna say it, so I'm gonna mention it. There's this, uh, there's this somewhat popular new cookie location at Disney Springs. I, I was originally just going to mention new snacks that like were relevant for the past week or two, but I ended up showing things over the past few months as well, just in case you missed it. Um, so I really can't really leave this out. Gideon's very popular, very good cookies. All right, everybody, that is going to do it. That's what's new here at Disney Springs right now. I might have missed something. And if I did, leave it down in a comment down below. So anybody watching this video is thinking, hey, you missed this little cookie or something. I don't know. They can uh, look back and see that the comments got it covered. But this is, to my knowledge, the new stuff that I felt the need to check out. And also comment down below what thing you're most excited to see your next time here. And other than that, uh, that's that's it. Yeah? I got fumbled on how I wanted to end this. So I'll just say I'll see you in the next one.